qui est le candidat de l'unité nationale. This is Montreuil, a Parisian suburb in the 93rd department, Seine-Saint-Denis. We're often told nothing is possible in the 93rd because it's a department that doesn't vote. Today we want to show people that Anmarche has support here and Anmarche is proud of the 93rd. Armed with banners and balloons, local supporters of Macron's En Marche movement are heading out on a 13-kilometer walk. We have people from all walks of life here, with a mix of different origins. We're here because we're all French and we're all worried about the future of our country. Macron says he would bring in positive discrimination to favor residents in neighborhoods deemed deprived. Businesses would get a 15,000 euro bonus for every permanent contract they offer, and class sizes would be limited to 12. <laughs> But this area is still a left-wing stronghold. Seven hours later, they arrive in Saint-Denis to the north of Paris. But for some, Macron's past as a banker and economy minister is out of sync with local life here. We've had enough of politicians coming here every election saying they're going to make everything better. The day-long walk drew attention to their cause. But Macron's supporters want to engage locals one-to-one. You vote? No, I vote. Yes. It's Macron. You don't vote? In the Seine-Saint-Denis department, they organize regular door-knocking sessions. Seine-Saint-Denis has one of the lowest voter turnout rates of all the departments in France, so obviously we need to mobilize here. At almost every door, they use the same argument. Out of employment, the candidate who's going to stop Marine Le Pen. If Macron can't shake off his image as a candidate of the rich, his supporters hope one argument might just do the trick here. They say he's the only candidate capable of beating Marine Le Pen.